You are finally ready to begin your life as an entrepreneur and you want to start your own business. But then, are you out of business ideas? Are you not able to create your own business plan? It can be really challenging, right? And for this reason, we brought a fantastic platform to Pitch Crown called Visualogy. And with this platform, you are able to create business ideas, come up with a fantastic business plan, do marketing analysis and much more. So let's take a look and dive in. So once at the dashboard, once you fully logged into your account, you will come to a similar overview. And from here, you will be able to access the top menus like dashboard, projects, favorite list. And also if you need help with anything, then you can just go here and the doc documentation and tutorials will be open for each individual section. Let's say we want to create a new business idea, right? So let's go to the first section, brainstorming ideas. So with brainstorming ideas, the only thing you need to do is write the keywords that define your project, your idea, and then the AI will start generating ideas. Even if you do not have any keywords in mind, you can also scroll down and then you will have the option to generate random ideas. So let's first do this one. From here, you will see an extremely smart way to get other people to think like you a tool that helps to manage projects better fantastic business idea right a flashcard app that improves memory skills a facebook for images a smartphone app that alerts users to sales on their favorite stores a site that helps you find public spaces in your city and you can see that there are some fantastic business ideas already inside a tool that helps to manage projects better so we can add this to a project and if you do not have any projects yet, you can just create a new project, name it. You can also give it a description if you want to, but let's just create this project management project. If we scroll down, you will also get recommended companies. So you can take a look if any of these companies are suited towards your own business idea purpose. If so, you can just add them to your project list or you can also add them to your favorite list. So you don't have to add them to your projects list right away, but you can also add them to your favorite list instead. So let's say that we're just going to add some businesses uh, to the project. We can just press the project itself, project management, there we go. And you will see that it is successfully saved towards your own project. Let's do one more. Let's do Amazon Prime as well. Of course, this is just an, uh, an example. It's not really suited towards the project management, but we can also press the button, get more. And then you will see that you will get a more overview of other businesses. Because now that we have some business ideas, we can also do product naming. So the first thing that you need to do is describe your product or copy and paste an idea or problem that you previously generated, right? So you could go to your projects. So let's say we're just going to copy this. And from here, we're going to copy and paste that inside. Then secondly, choose accurately the keywords that define your product description. So let's say we're just going to stick with these three keywords and we're going to say, press submit. The AI is now going to take a look at the keywords and the product description, and then it's going to give you some AI generated product names. So for example, waterboard, workboard, let's say get some more. Dogfinder, coach, ping it. Ping it is also a catchy one. So let's just add that to a project management. If you're done with adding the product names towards your project, then let's proceed with the next part. And the next part will be the market analysis, right? And here you can ask any kind of question or consult the examples to see what kind of marketing analysis that you want to pursue and that you want to check and want to include inside of your own business plan. So what you could do, for example, is what is the total addressable market of small businesses in the United States? Because maybe you want just want to create a specific business a specific platform that addresses small businesses instead. So let's just press submit and let's see what 
Visalogi is coming up with. As you can see here, the TAM of small businesses in the United States is about 237.2 billion annually. Uh, if we want to add this to the project, we can easily do so. There we go. We could also rewrite this new query. So as you can see, another question could be how many small businesses are currently active inside the United States? And as you can see, the United States has a total of 11,471,000 small businesses. So let's add this to the project as well. And let's press continue. Let's get to the next part. Now that we've done our marketing analysis, let's do the competitive intelligence. So if you take a look at your competitor, for example, different kinds of project management tools, let's see if Physiology can provide some data about them. So I could ask, for example, how many users does Notion have? Notion is not really a project management tool. It started out as just a note tool, right? To write down your notes, but it has evolved into Basically, you can create anything there from roadmaps to project management and much, much more. So this could be a valid analysis that you want to intelligence. So how many users does Notion have? Notion has reached a milestone of 1 million users. Let's go to the next step. And the next step will be the corporate intelligence. And from here, you will be able to see, according to the examples, what kind of questions that you can ask here that will help you set up the rest of your business plan. So the corporate intelligence in this case. So let's type in a few questions. Now that I added a few questions to the project, let's take a look at how the report looks like up till now. So if we go to the latest project, so project management, if we take a look now, you will see that your entire business plan will be populated with the data that you inserted. You can see this was from the brainstorming session, right? You can also delete this if you, don't not, if you do not need it. So you can just pull that up. And you can of course do much more brainstorming to get a more precise business plan together. If you go on the product naming, a tool that helps to manage projects better, project management, uh, productivity collaboration, ping it. That, uh, that was the one that we went with. And here do we have the market, uh, marketing analysis. You have the competitive analysis. You have the corporate intelligence. We have the mashup. If you scroll down under the mashup, you will come to the strategy. So select the best keywords fitting into your project. And from here, you will be able to select any of these businesses that you already assigned. And if you do so, you get, you get a business pattern overview. And as you can see here, if we just select them all, you will see that you will get different kinds of business pattern. Subscription-based models, Evernote, could also indicate that your business idea should go with the subscription based model instead of a one time payment, right? Uh, if we take a look at the sectors, then you will have information, consumer goods, technology, categories, internet software, pretty accurate, customer needs, self trending self actualization, informs, simplifies, quality, priority, integrates, organizes. So for project management, integrate integrations as well for project management tools is really important. Provides access, uh, reduces risk, uh, rewards me. So rewards me could mean a variety of things. And if we take a look down, you will see a canvas. So fill in the canvas by adding new items by clicking in every module. So you can have a key partner, right? Show logos to hide or show related uh, items and then cards to use them in your strategy. So this, you could just add any of these. You can then select the, uh, the skill set, right? Evernote supports the majority of popular operating systems. So let's say this, let's do a third party app developer, uh, partnership clients for Evernote, uh, code, code Academy or internet business model industry, mobile industry, right? So let's go with these. As you can see these are populating and you can fill in your entire plan this way. So if we go with Evernote again, 
you'll see integration, software development, feature updates, marketing, uh, product roadmap is really important, customer service, to have backups. If we go with these, let's just add them. If you want to go with key propositions, you can add your own or select one of the companies. And as you can see, you will get suggestions based on the business that you just selected. So if I select this one and Wikipedia, you will see that you will have different kinds of key propositions. So let me fill in some uh, data and get back to you. As soon as you filled in your report, basically, as you can see, everything has been filled in now and you can add more to it if you want to. But let's go to the next selection of the report and that's the SWOT analysis. You can see we have the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities and the threats. And as you can see here, you can fill in the SWOT analysis yourself. Shown text is just an example in order to guide you, but you can fill in everything you want here to make it a little bit more clear, not only to yourself, but also to have a good SWOT analysis inside of your own business plan. If we scroll down, we also have PEST. That's short for political, economic, social, and technological. And as you can see, these are just shown text, but you can fill this in to complete your report. And then you will also be able to enter your conclusions. Once you filled in everything, then it is time to download your report. You can now download it either to a PowerPoint presentation or you can download it as a PDF file. So let's just download it by PDF. As you can see here, the project is a project management author. You can also insert that if you want to and here you have your complete report everything nicely aligned 13 pages and in here you can see the mashup you can see your canvas so the key partners key activities propositions customer relationships segments uh, the channels and the key resources then you will also have your SWOT analysis of course if you fill it in and you also have your political, economics, social, technological, or short pest data. And of course your conclusions. So you can see how powerful Physiology is because it gives you random business ideas or it helps you structure your current business idea that you have in mind and also do competitive research, marketing analysis, and much, much more. So be sure to grab yourself a copy of Visualogy today. The link will be on top and in the video description and give it a go yourself. Have a great day. Take care. Talk soon.